So I received a lot of comments on one of my recent videos stating that as a labor and delivery nurse, I personally wouldn't choose to give my newborn the erythromycin eye drops or eye ointment that most newborns get immediately after birth. So from what I know from the research that I have learned is that these drops are used to help prevent any infection caused by sexually transmitted diseases and infections. Now, most pregnant women are tested for this during pregnancy, either once or multiple times. The reason why it's just standard practice to give it is because sometimes there's not up-to-date um, testing from the pregnant women and they could have been with diff different partners. They could have had, um, you know, the current, their current partner could have given them something that they're unaware of and it's just better safe than sorry and better to just give it to the baby. Now, if that's what you choose to do, that is perfectly fine. Now, this person said it did make his uh, or her baby's eyes red and swollen. So that is something that can happen. And you know, it is an antibiotic, so it is introducing them to an antibiotic very early. And I personally feel like it's a lot of ointment on their eyes when they're trying to, you know, it's their first time in the world, they're trying to open their eyes. I don't love it personally. <laughs> Again, that's just me. There is nothing wrong with giving it. A lot of people get it and babies are fine. It's not like it's the end of the world if they do get it. And you know what? It probably does prevent a lot of issues that are caused from women who don't know that they have STDs because STDs a lot of times don't show any symptoms in women. So that is why it's best practice in Canada, at least. I just personally, if I know I'm with the same partner and we are in a monogamous, monogamous relationship and I've been recently tested, I don't see the need to give it. Some other people were mentioning that, um, that eye drops are good for other infections. Now, there's not a lot of data supporting that claim right now. So mostly it's just helping prevent the infections and which can cause blindness in newborns from chlamydia and gonorrhea. That is what it's showing. Any other things like group B strep and um, yeast infections, someone said, those aren't well supported. It doesn't kill um, those kinds of bacteria. And honestly, those bacteria don't lead to any kinds of blindness in newborns from studies that I've seen. So I hope this helps. Um, again, it's your personal decision. And if you have any questions about this, just ask your doctor, ask your care team. Um, and don't just let them give it to you because that's what every newborn gets. Just ask questions and be aware.